Hi, I'm Arthur Parsons. I'm the lead designer at Traveller's Tales, working on the video game Bionicle Heroes. Uh, Bionicle Heroes is uh, an action-adventure game, which is due for release in November this year. I'm very happy to be answering some questions that have come in from the Mask of Destiny website. Uh, so, the first question. How much input and influence did the LEGO company and other outside sources have on the game? Or did we have ultimate freedom? I think, to be fair, we did have an immense amount of creative freedom on Bionicle Heroes. The LEGO company were, were awesome in the way that they gave us an insight into the new toy range. They were also very, very good in giving us background information on the previous year's ranges. But ultimately, they did give us free range to do pretty much what we want in the game. Question two, do I think we got carried away with playing with the toys a little bit more than we should have done? I actually do think that we did have a little bit too much fun uh, playing with the new figures. Obviously, we had to get the figures so that we could look at them uh, and model them. But at the same time, we did get an awful lot of figures and uh, many an hour was spent playing with them. The last question, compared to other games, can you tell us about how much gameplay there is through the main story? Well, in Bionicle Heroes, there's an awful lot of free play gameplay. So there's the main game, which consists of battling your way through the, the various worlds, the various levels. But at the same time, once the users finish this, they can go back through hours upon hours of free play, which is obviously optional. There's an immense amount of gameplay in there for users old and young to enjoy, and an awful lot of collectible content which Bionicle fans will love. So I'd like to say thank you to Mask of Destiny for these questions, and obviously I hope you're looking forward to playing the game just as much as we enjoyed making Bionicle Heroes. Thank you.